I'm back home as you can see and it's been a long day so let's get into it. Hi I'm Brian from Airflow Music welcome back to another video this is our November 7th edition of Go Practice. I hope you're having a great day today. This has been a good day for me but it's been a long day. When you saw me last I was in Miami Beach Florida and in fact that's where today began for me with a 5 a.m. lobby call. So when I record this in the evening now, it's about 15 hours since I left the hotel this morning. It's been a long day full of travel, other bits of work, some teaching and things like that. So I'm keeping this video short. I'm just gonna play one of the exercises of our three from the new set of Daily Drill, set 11. And on this occasion, that's gonna be our tonguing drill, the third exercise. If you're not familiar with this set of exercises yet, check out the video from two days ago. I'll make sure it's linked down below where you can see a full run through of all three exercises. I'll do another one of those tomorrow as well. But for today, we're just dealing with exercise three, our tonguing drill. To check out and follow along with what this is, please head to the link down below and download the free PDF from the Airflow Music online store. Let's get into playing this. I'm keeping this short. I'm going up to tempo for me, which on this occasion is going to be 116 beats a minute. Our rhythmic pattern for this version, as you'll see on the sheet, is two bars of 16th notes, a one bar hold followed by a one bar rest. Keeps everything a little bit shorter, but I've identified that at 120, where I play other versions of this exercise, two bars of 16th notes is enough to make me slow down. And that's what I'm trying to practice and build up to keeping going on. So we'll do this at 116 today, because this is just from my personal practice. Of course, you can set your own metronome and just play it on your own time, as you will have to for the other exercises. So that's what we'll deal with. Here's exercise three, part one. Part one done, and it's not all smooth sailing. You will notice that, as I observed in the video a couple of days ago when I was playing this exercise, I've had a tendency to grip a little hard in these long settings. Uh, strong arm the horn a little bit, and so I'm really making an effort to lighten my grip, keep it fairly light in the left hand, and keep the finger out of the pinky ring on the right hand. And I think that's responsible for some of the unevenness in the start of these 16th notes. I'm finding it quite bouncy now when I first attack the beginning of the phrase. So that's something I'm just going to observe. And for the time being, I'm going to work on the principle that that will even its way out as I get a bit better back in balance and don't strung arm as much and don't apply as much kind of arm pressure with the trumpet. But I'll be keeping an eye on that as we play this over days and weeks to see what that's actually about. But that's my working theory. Anyway, the light grip is something I'm going to continue to employ as we move through part two. Part one, as we know, is the sequence from low C down to low F sharp. Part two is our longer long setting. We go from low C chromatically upwards, hopefully as far as high C. I'm going to go as far as I can in the long setting without breaking it, breathing through my nose on the rest bars. And once things start to fall apart on me, either the notes air out, or I do start to feel like I'm pressing too much or manipulating too much or forcing in any way, that's when I'll take a short break, 15 or 20 seconds, 
and then I'll start over from the last note I got to continue the rhythmic pattern, see how far I can get. So it's a long setting with a single break. Hopefully I can get up to high C within that, but we'll see how it goes. With the lighter grip, this may change things. Just as it did when we were doing the previous version of this tongue and drill, the five bar exercise, and I started playing it much softer, that changed how far I was able to get. I think this is gonna have a similar effect. So let's find out. Here's exercise three, part two. It was actually going fairly well, but as it turns out, G is my limit today in the first part of the setting. So let's take a short break and continue on and see where we get to. Part two was interesting. Uh, as you heard, I didn't make it all the way to high C after the first break. Just up to, through the A and it kind of faded out on me on the B flat. That's partly to do with the lighter grip and not pressing as hard. And it's partly to do with my overall fatigue today. My day started with a 5 a.m. lobby call and I'm recording this in the early evening, as I think I said. So I'm just tired overall and that's definitely a contributing factor. But that's what that is for today and so I have noted that. We know I've noted that because I've got it on video and so I'll try and do better tomorrow and we'll see how we get on. That's simply how I deal with this exercise and how I approach that. So 
that's been interesting. Anyway, let's move on and play part three so we can be very soon be done with this. Here's part three. Part 3 raised something interesting and somewhat unexpected. It seems, contrary to what I might have expected, that the lighter grip makes it more difficult for me to play the low notes cleanly. That doesn't meet with my expectation, but I figure that probably I was making up for a slight lack of corner support in the low register by pressing a little harder. And that was probably getting me off on the wrong path and contributing to the amount I was pressing as I went into the longer long setting in part two previously when I was playing this. So this is interesting to observe and I'll be interested to see if it comes around with a few days practice or if it's an adjustment I need to make in a different way. This is something I'm going to find out. I'm learning things. This is good. Anyway, that's all I have for you in this one. I've got very limited mental bandwidth left to get this video edit done and get it out to you on time. So I'm going to leave it right there. But I hope you've enjoyed playing along with me. If you have, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another video tomorrow and tomorrow I'll have some more time and we'll play all three exercises again and see where we're up to with all of them. But until then, thanks very much for watching and go practice.